first day here, I arrived at my host family's home. Yeah. They gave me some downtime, and then my host dad, Simon, took me out in his car, and we basically drove around town a bit. He showed me the tram, helped me get my ticket, and then he took me to some other places that I might be interested in nearby. Perfect. And then my flight mate, obviously, helped me find the school. Um, the boys and I usually, we might take a taxi, maybe mm -hmm. 10 pounds, uh, mm -hmm. split between five of us, four of us, uh, to go to the training ground at Salford. Right. Maybe play, maybe play with the local kids. Um, if we don't play football, we might go to the cinema. Right. See a film. Or just go around and look at stadiums nearby, okay. like Old Trafford. <laughs> Um, they can come in here and use the Wii, use the Xbox, sit and talk, just be without us if they want to be. So, in here is the dining room. I don't know about the light because that hangs up. So this is where we sit and eat together. And then the kitchen. And again, they're welcome to come in here and cook for themselves if they want to. Uh, they can write on the shopping list anything that they want that we haven't got and we'll just guess it for them. So, yeah. Brilliant. And then this one is the other room for uh, students, which is a bit brighter. Yeah. Welcome to come out here too. Uh, and we've had some students sitting outside in the sun. Mm. And now me and JP have reached home. I'm here with Jane and Simon Dean, who are JP's um, homestay hosts. So thank you very much for having us this afternoon. <laughs> no problem at all. And firstly, what is it you enjoy about being a homestay host? Oh gosh, what do we not enjoy? We absolutely love it. Um, we love everything about the students, understanding the countries they come from, understanding them as people, getting to know them, also getting to know their families. Uh, we like to keep in touch as well after they've left us and that has given us a few holidays already. <laughs> Fabulous, <laughs> okay, brilliant. <laughs> Who wouldn't want yeah. to go to Barcelona, Madrid <laughs> and shortly Milan. <laughs> Beautiful. From students who've stayed with us. So we keep in touch with them all. Mm. We set up, well Simon set up, um, a Facebook page just for the students who've been with us and um, we just like to catch up and hear their news and check that they're all okay. Oh, how brilliant. So have you hosted students from lots of different places? Uh, we have, mostly Europe. Uh, one who was with us lately, Jose, was from Colombia. Right. So the other, go on, South, South America. No, South Korea too. Ah uh, yes, South Japan, Korea, well done. Croatia. So Australia. yeah, not mostly Europe. <laughs> yeah, all over the place. And so do you find you're picking up different bits of different languages because of having new Ooh. students here? Or actually, is it more English you're speaking while they're here? We like to insist that they're speaking English. Just occasionally, if you've got students uh, who both speak the same language, yes. they speak to each other in, well, it's been Spanish. Alex is guilty of that, <laughs> along with Jose, just occasionally. <laughs> Uh, but for example, we had a couple who stayed with us, both obviously from the same place, uh, and their language was Spanish, and they didn't speak a word of Spanish, even in the privacy of their own room. So, you know, we right. just take it as it comes. But with regards to us picking up a little bit of language, I'm pretty good at picking up how you speak it and what the rules are, yeah. but remembering it, no. So um, I like to uh, record messages for their parents and then I practice saying them and then uh, they record me and send it off home. So how brilliant. <laughs> and for us with their English, we, um, we all sit around the table for our meals 
mm -hmm. and, um, and then they can have um, a conversation in, in the English language and hopefully it'll help them improve their, their language uh, the, to learn English in this, you know, in this country. Brilliant. And sorry, you were going to speak. Oh, no, no, no. Well, I was just going to say that I've been hearing such wonderful things about <laughs> the great trips that you've been taking, JP, oh, yeah, on yeah. to the football match. And, you know, that's lovely that you include the students in, in your family life at the weekends. Yeah, our daughter, well. she's just graduated, but she did her degree in York. So we took students with us to visit York and to go around. Um, we take them for a little trip around Manchester, point out things that they might want to see. Uh, Simon's taken them to football matches. His family are in Bristol. They've even been down to Bristol with us to stay with family there, go to watch uh, Bristol Rovers play. <laughs> Not such a good experience. <laughs> Do you know what though? It's a football match and with the young lads, they love it. <laughs> Simon took um, Alex and Jose to Wimbledon. So they oh, got really? to see some wow. tennis for the day. So yeah, um, we tried to do lots with them to make their experience one to remember, really. Brilliant. And you, you're going to keep hosting for us, aren't you? You're not oh, going yes, anywhere. We, we can keep you for as long as we it. like. Really, really, we love it. Oh, that's brilliant. Obviously, before we started, we were a little uncertain. Would we be OK? Would we yeah. be happy with other people joining our family? Oh, we had nothing to worry about just just so brilliant oh that's brilliant well thank you ever so much for having a chat with me today yeah it's my first time in England. is it and how's it been the first few days amazing i love manchester city and uh, my host family is great and uh, we've made a lot of friends here and uh, i 